Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing Steramine tablets to see how well they remove bacteria from my home. This video is a viewer request. I have had requests from Ms. Rita Marie, Andrea Gardner, Doggy3030, Antigons6007, ID7896, April1840, Organized Chaos Life, and others. So I had never heard of steramine tablets before. It seems like it's something that is used in the food industry. Now I did work at Chuck E. Cheese when I was 16. However, I don't remember if this was a product that we used back then. Uh, anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the bottle, see how we're supposed to use it, and we'll talk about how we're gonna test it. Okay, so on the front of the bottle, it says Steramine I-G Tablets Multipurpose Sanitizer for sanitizing food contact surfaces. Use one to two tablets per gallon of water. This comes with 150 tablets. It also came with some test strips. We'll talk about that in a minute. So the directions for use are, let's see. For sanitizing dishes, glasses, and utensils in restaurants, taverns, and other public eating places. Scrape and pre-wash utensils and glasses whenever possible. Wash with a good detergent or compatible cleaner in first sink compartment. Rinse with clean water in second sink compartment. Sanitize in a solution of one to two tablets per gallon of water in third sink compartment. Immerse all utensils for at least one minute or for contact time specific governing sanitary code. Place sanitized utensils on a rack or drain board to air dry. A fresh sanitizing solution must be prepared at least daily or more often if the solution becomes diluted or soiled. That's for how you use it if you are washing dishes in a restaurant. Let's see how you're supposed to use it if you use it as a spray. For sanitizing food processing equipment, dairy equipment sinks, countertops, refrigerated storage, and display equipment, and other hard, non-porous food contact articles and surfaces. Wash and rinse all articles and surfaces thoroughly. Apply a solution of 200 to 400 parts per million concentration by combining one or two tablets per gallon of warm water. Allow several minutes for tablets to dissolve completely before using. Spray with hand trigger sprayer or wipe on and allow surface to remain wet for at least one minute, followed by adequate draining and air drying. So what I'm gonna do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and I'm gonna swab hard surfaces around my home, like the kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. And I'll place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm gonna clean according to these directions. I'm gonna make the spray bottle and let it sit for one minute and air dry. I'll swab the area again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. This way we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on a surface before and after cleaning with the steramine. One thing I'm not going to do is clean the surface beforehand. I just want to see what the impact is of this spray. I'm not certain if I'm going to do any testing with the dishes since I'm not a restaurant, but we'll see. If I end up by doing something, you'll see it during the video and the results. Also included in my package when I got the Steramine tablets was this little test strip kit. So it has little test strips in here. I just don't want to touch them uh, until I'm ready to use them. And it tells you what the parts per million is of your solution so that you ensure that you're using the right amount. So I'll try these out also. All right, so let's see how well Steramine tablets remove bacteria from around my home.
Now for some results. Before I get into the results, I want to make sure everybody understands what kind of test I did. For this test, I was only testing to see how well only the steramine tablets remove bacteria. I did not follow the directions that said you should wash it with either a good detergent or wash it with a cleaner before using because we want to see how much bacteria these steramine tablets can remove on their own. I didn't want to include another cleanser because then we'll be sitting there saying, well, which one did better? Was it the cleanser or was it the steramine? I only want to see how well steramine tablets alone can decrease bacteria. Let's start with the results of 200 parts per million, which is one tablet in one gallon of water. Remember, I did not pre-clean. We're only going to see how well steramine removes bacteria without the aid of any detergent. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, I'm not seeing a change. It still looks like a tremendous amount of bacteria. So the steramine, 200 parts per million, did not do a good job removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, I'm not seeing much change at all. So one tablet of the steramine and one gallon of water did not do a good job removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a slight visible decrease in bacteria. There's not a tremendous decrease in bacteria, but we can see a very, very slight visible decrease. So the steramine at 200 parts per million did not do a great job removing the bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a slight visible decrease in bacteria. Again, there's still a lot of bacteria, but we can see a very slight visible decrease. So the steramine 200 parts per million did not do a great job of removing the bacteria from my toilet rim. Let's move on to that dish experiment. Now remember on this experiment, what I did was I actively took bacteria from a Petri dish, put it on the dishes themselves. Then I swabbed the dish so I could have a before sample, put them in the steramine solution for a minute, let them air dry, and sampled after. Dish number one, in the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, I'm not seeing a decrease at all. So the steramine soak did not remove bacteria from my dish number one. Dish number two, in the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's still a lot of bacteria. So again, the steramine soak, 200 parts per million, did not remove the bacteria from dish number two. Dish number three, in the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. In the after section, there's also a tremendous amount of bacteria. So the steramine, 200 parts per million soak, did not remove the bacteria from dish number three. In the knife, in the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. In the after section, I'm not seeing much difference at all. So the 200 parts per million steramine soak did not remove any bacteria from the kitchen knife. When I was done with this, I washed the dishes with palm olive dish soap and put them in my dishwasher. When they came out of the dishwasher, I swabbed them again. Let's look at those results. So dish number one and dish number two. So this was after they were washed with palm olive and then went through my dishwasher. Dish number one just has one bacterial colony and dish number two has none. So washing with palm olive and then having it go through my dishwasher removed the bacteria. Let's look at the results for dish number three and the knife. We're not seeing any bacteria on this petri dish, so the palm olive dish soap and then the dishwasher removed all the bacteria from those surfaces. So these results bothered me quite a bit. So I repeated this test again and I got the same results. Not seeing a decrease in using it as a surface spray and not seeing any removal of bacteria using it as a soak. Again, I realize that we're not cleaning first because we're trying to see how much bacteria only the steramine can remove. So then I repeated the entire experiment doing the spray bottle and the soaking using two tablets of the steramine. So that's 400 parts per million. Let's look at those results. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a slight visible decrease in bacteria. So the two tablets of steramine decrease the bacteria a little bit from the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a much larger visible decrease in bacteria. 
So the two tablets of Steramine decreased the bacteria quite a bit, but it did not remove it at all from the kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, again, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. Again, the two tablets did not remove all the bacteria, but it did decrease the bacteria in the bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, is about half a dozen bacterial colonies. Now, this is a much larger decrease in bacteria than we've seen anywhere else so far. So the two tablets of Steramine did a really good job removing the bacteria from my toilet rim. Now let's look at the results where I actively add bacteria to some dishes, swab before so we can see how much bacteria is on before, and have them soak in the Steramine 400 parts per million for one minute. And then air dry. Dish number one. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see maybe a slight decrease in bacteria, but there's still a lot of bacteria left on that dish. So the two tablets of Steramine did not do a good job removing the bacteria from dish number one. Dish number two, in the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a very, very slight decrease in bacteria, but there's still a tremendous amount of bacteria left on that dish. So the two tablets of Steramine did not do a good job removing the bacteria from dish number two. Dish number three, the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And then the after section, it looks similar. It doesn't look like there's a decrease in bacteria at all. So the two tablets of Steramine did not do a good job of removing the bacteria from dish number three. The knife. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a much more visible decrease in bacteria. So the two tablets of Steramine seem to decrease the bacteria a bit from the knife. So then I hand washed these with palm olive dish soap and swabbed them after they were dry. So dish number one and dish number two, after they've been hand washed with palm olive, both of them are showing no bacterial growth at all on the dishes after being washed with palm olive. Let's look at dish number three and the knife again after being washed with the palm olive dish soap. And again, we see no bacterial growth at all on dish number three or the knife after being washed with palm olive. I did run these through the dishwasher. I did not swab them afterwards, so I didn't waste a petri dish since we already had these great results. So overall, I'm not impressed at all with these Steramine tablets' ability to remove bacteria around my home. I tested the hard, non-porous surfaces, and I also tested some dishes and a knife. Now, I do realize, again, I know I'm going to get it flooded in the comments with this. I did not wash them first with soap or detergent, and I didn't use the second. That is correct. Remember, I'm only testing to see how well these tablets can decrease bacteria, and honestly, they did not do a good job. I think the thing that struck me the most was that after I tested the 400 parts per million on the dishes that I deliberately inoculated with bacteria, and then washed them with palm olive dish soap, just hand washed them, all the bacteria was gone. So if this product has to be used after you use a good detergent, I'm thinking that the detergent is the thing that's removing the most of the bacteria. I'm not certain what this is doing. It is possible that the bacterial load that I had on my dishes, because that was a deliberate inoculation, as well as the kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, and toilet room was just too much for this product to be able to remove. Now that is absolutely possible. But I still think we should have been able to see a bit of a decrease in bacteria way more than we saw. So this test has taken me months to complete. I've done this test over and over and over again. I've duplicated some, I've triplicated some, I've done some four times because I really couldn't believe that these styramine tablets were unable to decrease the bacteria around my home. And I almost didn't release this video. But instead, what I think I'm going to do is a part two. And in the part two of this video, I will clean the surfaces with a soap. Not certain which soap I'm going to use quite yet or detergent I'm going to use yet. And then we'll swab after I clean with the soap. And then if there's any bacteria left over, we'll see if the styramine tablets are going to be able to remove it. 
The other thing I wanna test is, you know when I do the soak of the Steramine tablets, I wanna see is a bleach solution able to decrease the bacteria from the dishes when the Steramine tablets just could not do it. But I wanted to at least get this part one video out to you because I've been working on it for so long and I know I've had so many of you is asking me to test this product. As for the scent of the product, this is completely odor free. There was no scent at all with Steramine tablets. Now they do have the blue dye. And I think the blue dye is important because it helps indicate that yes, these Steramine tablets are in the container, they're in the spray bottle, but there are no fragrances added at all. And each time I made a new solution, which was several times during this testing, I did test each time to ensure that I had either 200 or 400 parts per million each and every time. So stay tuned for part two of Steramine, where I'll test it after I clean with a detergent, and then any residual bacteria will see if the Steramine tablets can tackle. And I'll also test the dishes in a bleach soak. It might take a few weeks or even a month or so to get part two out because I have to let the bacteria grow in between each and every cleaning that I'm doing. And again, I might be doing this in double or triplicate or even four times, we'll just see. I'm gonna do whatever I can. I'm really giving this product the best testing that I can. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My email address is in the description below. Send me an email and let's have a conversation about the product. It might be something that I've already tested, it might be something that I have in queue at home, or it might be something I just don't have the ability to test. So let's have that conversation and then I'll give you my mailbox address. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part two. Take care, have yourselves a great day.